Welcome to another installment of the Forestry Friday video series. My name is Cody Clemenson, and today we are going to talk about what a landowner can do to manage aspen for wildlife on their property in North Dakota. Aspen can be found throughout several areas in North Dakota. You'll find isolated pockets in many native forests throughout North Dakota, like in the Pemina Gorge, the Kildeer Mountains, and the Cheyenne River Valley. It can also be found in some wooded draws throughout the state and is a commonly found species in some of the sandy glacial beaches like around Towner, North Dakota and in Fort Ransom, North Dakota. It is the dominant species in the Turtle Mountain region and it is important for some significantly unique wildlife species like the rough grouse, which is a forest dependent native grouse species that can be found in the Turtle Mountain region and the Pemina Gorge in North Dakota. Quaking aspen, Populus trembloides, is a shade intolerant deciduous tree species native to North Dakota. They can be commonly found in different areas throughout our state and they reach a mature age between 60 to 90 years old in our area. To understand aspen, we need to first be able to identify it. Aspen is a deciduous tree species, meaning it loses its leaves each fall. It has a white to grayish colored bark that is relatively thin. It can sometimes be confused with our native birch trees, but the bark on birch peels and is flaky, whereas aspen bark does not. The leaves of quaking aspen are more heart-shaped compared to the more elongated birch leaves, aspen tend to grow in a single stem, where birch tend to grow in clumps with many stems. Also, the new shoots on branches of birch tend to have a red to purplish tint, whereas aspen will be white to grayish in color. Mature aspen tend to have a high number of white trunk rock conks present. They also suffer from hypoxylin canker, which you can attribute to their short lifespan. This thin bark is easily susceptible to damage from fires and other events, which will result in the death of the tree above ground, but will then stimulate the production of a hormone that triggers suckering of the root system that is protected to below ground. This response helps aspen reproduce and continue their natural cycle, which can help maintain their place on this landscape. This reproductive response producing suckers was naturally occurring from fires before it was suppressed and during the settlement of the region through the harvesting of trees for building materials and heating homes. Root suckering is the most common way of reproduction in regenerating aspen in its forest system. This type of reproductive response is common in pioneer species such as aspen, which are some of the first four species to colonize a site after a disturbance event. In areas that it is established, we can see its growth and expansion through these root suckers that extend the forest. Rough grouse are a forest dependent native grouse species that can thrive in an aspen forest, so properly managing a forest for rough grouse can provide the needed habitat for this unique species. In particular, they need lots of young forest, but also require various age classes in their area. Rough grouse tend to have a small home range, so providing this mixture of various age classes within that home range is critical to providing the ideal rough grouse habitat. This creates a patchwork mosaic of various forests, all in a small little home area for the rough grouse to utilize. Rough grouse tend to feed on various things throughout the year, like berries, seeds, and bugs. But one of their favorites can be catkins, or the flowering spike of aspen trees. For the young broods, various bugs and insects are the, their primary food source. So one way you can help create homes for bugs and more insects with forest management is to allow the down material to decompose in this in their place and the down material will become home for many bugs and insects that can feed and support the young rough grouse. One way to create the needed young forest is through young forest is through creating small patch cuts as a clear cut coppice treatment. In our area this historically was done with the use of a bulldozer with a shear cutting blade 
attached to it, or through the use of family woodlots where they would harvest their needed firewood for the coming year. The same practice is being continued through the use of small equipment like bobcats, or even just with a chainsaw. While deer, elk, and moose aren't exclusively forest dependent species in our area, they will utilize forest cover when it is available. Having a mixture of forest cover can provide these wildlife species with homes and habitats they will use. Deer, elk, and moose all feed on new leaves and twigs, so having patches of young forest with trees and branches at their browse height can help in providing a natural food source for these animals. With these animals, creating long linear strips of young aspen forest can be beneficial, whereas for the rough grouse it is better to create small little blocks. In other areas and states, they have issues with high aspen depredation damage due to, to young regenerating aspen due to the browsing of deer, elk, and moose. But in my experience in our area, the aspen tend to not be as heavily flavored compared to other species like red osier dogwood or green ash. This is likely because aspen produces a chemical com compound when they are young that makes them not as palatable compared to some of the other deciduous species that are present in our area. Where the other areas and states, aspen is one of the only deciduous tree species present, so they will suffer from repeated browse damage by the wildlife. Though North Dakota is predominantly a prairie state, our isolated pockets of forest provide an opportunity for some cool and unique songbirds that are dependent on forests. Such species as the pileated woodpecker need dead trees, or as foresters like to call them, snags. They use the dead trees to create their nests, and these dead trees tend to have lots of bugs and insects that can provide food for the pileated woodpeckers. When conducting a forest management practice, it can be important to retain one to two snake trees per acre for wildlife species like the pileated woodpecker. In our area, other songbirds may be dependent on early successional aspen forest, while others may need mature forest. So various thrushes, warblers, and woodpeckers would not be in our area if it wasn't for some of the forests and offering various, a variety of different patches of the forest cover on your property can increase the diversity of bird species present on your property. Luckily enough, if you are a private forest landowner in North Dakota, the North Dakota Forest Service's Forest Stewardship Team can assist you in managing your forest and its resources. You don't have to try to learn everything on your own. It's a completely free service where we'll come out to your property and conduct inventories where we'll get the baseline information on the current health and condition of your forest. With that, we'll visit with you about your future goals and objectives of your forest and prepare you an individualized plan that will have recommendations for you to be able to achieve your goals on your property. You have no obligation to complete any or all of these recommendations, and if there is a financial program available for conducting the recommendations, we'll provide you with that information and assist you in applying for it. Some of the recommendations may be to create access trails, which will allow you a better to be able to better monitor and access your forest. A thinning treatment if your forest is overstocked so that the remaining trees will have ample resources like sunlight or water in times of need. Or to mechanically treat the understory to allow sunlight to reach the forest floor for new seedlings to be able to germinate. If you're a private forest landowner in the Turtle Mountain region of North Dakota, there currently is a cost share program where you can sign up and be reimbursed to conduct an aspen regeneration project on your property, which can help create the young aspen forest that is needed for the local rough grouse and wildlife. You could turn your patch of old, decadent aspen forest from this into this. If you are interested in learning more about what you can do to better manage your native forest on your property, or would like to learn about the current condition and health of your forest in North Dakota, feel free to reach out by requesting forestry technical assistance on our forest stewardship page at the link shown below or at the contact information as well. We'll be glad to visit with you and see how we can assist, educate, and inspire you to actively and sustainably manage your forest.
If you'd like to learn more about the North Dakota Forest Service, visit our website at the address listed. And be sure to also follow us on Facebook and check out other Forestry Friday videos on our YouTube channel.